When transitioning to Exchange 2007, there are changes that need to be made to the Active Directory schema as well as to the forest and domain configurations. The simplest way to have these changes go into effect is to install an Exchange 2007 server into your environment because at that time the server will check and see if your Active Directory is up to date and if not it will run all of the necessary switches behind the scenes. If however you need to perform the changes in stages you will need to run the setup switches. They include the following. Prepare legacy exchange permissions. Now you run this switch in the root domain of the forest on the intended Exchange 2007 server. You run this command to ensure the recipient update service functions correctly and that administrative permissions are functioning properly after you perform the update of the schema for Exchange 2007. The next switch is prepare schema. This will make the changes to the schema. Of course in order for this to work you have to have the proper permissions to be able to update the schema. The next switch is prepare AD. This makes several helpful changes such as creating universal security groups in both the root and existing domain. It also for the sake of preparing to coexist creates an administrative group named exchange administrative group and a routing group called exchange routing group which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now you won't be able to see these groups through the Exchange Management Console in Exchange 2007. You can only see the groups through the System Manager in Exchange 2000 or Exchange 2003. One thing to take note of is if you run the Prepare AD switch before you run the other two switches we discussed, it runs the others automatically. Then we have the Prepare Domain or Prepare All Domains switches. These switches configure permissions on a container called Domain for your Exchange servers, organization administrators, authenticated users, and mailbox administrators. It creates the System Objects container, establishes proper permissions, configures a new Domain Global group, and adds that group into the Universal Security group. So these switches are obviously very important. It's good to note that if you're trying to prepare your environment, and let's say you don't have your 64-bit server in place just yet, you can still perform the changes by using the 32-bit trial version of Exchange 2007. You can use this to prepare Active Directory and then when you actually have your server in place and you're ready to do your installation the Active Directory is already prepared. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we run these switches. The quickest way to perform the changes is to run the Prepare AD switch to start. And then we can use the prepare all domain switch. And so we can see that it worked, but one of the ways we can make sure is we can check to see that the administrative and routing groups have been created within the Exchange System Manager. These groups being created is a clear sign that your switch has worked fine and you are now ready to proceed. So here we see everything worked out just fine. And now our next step is to install the Exchange 2007 server.